What's good, man? It's your boy Cash. Welcome to the Cash Money Dream Podcast. We here, man. We ain't going nowhere. Listen, um, Miami's looking good right now. We got a lot of events. The website is up. So for everybody out there asking for the website, it's ready to go. The blogs, the events. Um, there's a big event going on. Um, I think this Friday we got uh on the on on the site. Who is it? Uh, Ramin. It's uh, Rick Ross, and it's at Live. Okay. In so, uh, Fountain Blue. Make sure y'all come on to the blog and go get your tickets. Uh, it's going to be dope. Um, those guys do it do it very good in the Miami world. Uh, it's a different world out there. And all the women out there, man, I feel bad for all the people in America, man. That they're, they're, Their girls are getting slanged in Miami. <laughs> but also... Bruh. Um, we got a special guest in the building. Um, I'm gonna introduce her. Actually, I'm gonna let her speak for herself. What's up? It's Diva. Now with the I with the E. Period. Where you from? I'm from Dayton, Ohio. Okay, from the Midwest. From the Midwest. Okay. How long was I mean? How long was you out there? Life. Oh, your life. Okay. Yeah. So you see all the good and the bad. <laughs> Um, no, not really, because I moved out here in 2012, but okay. I go back and forth from here to home, so okay. Arizona's like my second state. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you go out there when it's cold? Yeah. Okay. I feel you. <laughs> uh, what's your Instagram? My Instagram is D-A-V-I-O-N-N-A, okay. two A's. Is it, is it, um, outside of Instagram, is the other platform you have that you would someone, someone to, to look you up, subscribe? Or anything? Um, or no, Instagram? just Instagram. Just Instagram. You can go on my link tree. You'll see. You'll find everything on there. So okay. <laughs> what do you do? Um, I'm a hairstylist and I'm an influencer. Okay. Um, as far as hairstyling, um, how's that going? It's going good actually. Like I feel like I reached a lot of opportunities doing hair. Okay. Um, just networking and stuff. Right. Like, met a lot of cool people. Nice. But other than that, it's pretty cool, honestly. And you do all types of hair? Yeah. So we was just talking about <laughs> Offset because I was just like, yo, I need a hair girl. So <laughs> you can do this? Yes. Okay. How long was it going to take? Though? I ain't seen no chair for four hours. Um, It just depends on like what you want. Okay. Honestly, a retwist should only be like two, three hours max, four hours. But if... <laughs> okay so you don't have you don't have an instagram for that though i do what's your instagram it's called for your hair she your hair d or not do your okay she d or hair you saying something Rami? no that's what i was gonna ask if she actually has some of her work displayed online so people could go and maybe she can get some customers that are local oh okay do, do you know a lot of people back from home out here um not too many i don't really when i go home i don't be out like you be chilling yeah um, eating with the family <laughs> yeah. Y'all eat a lot out there in Cleveland Shit. oh yeah every time I go out there I gain weight <laughs> eat too much but okay listen welcome to the show uh it's your boy Cash man listen like and subscribe follow us on every goddamn platform we here man and we ain't going nowhere the website's up I'm tired of all you simps complaining okay uh Cash Talk is gonna be coming soon where we are gonna be giving you all the information privately by by me and nothing ever else on the market. It's nothing's going to be on the website as far as anything that we already put up on Instagram or all our platforms of social media. This is going to be exclusive for the people who come onto the website and become a part of the money team. And and listen, I appreciate all the love and I appreciate all the simps and, and, and even the women who talk a lot of shit because they're mad because they have a 45 piece body count and and their man gonna leave them probably within a couple weeks. I, I when the rents do it's due. You know what I'm saying? And, and being from the Midwest, rent due all the fucking time. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta pay your fucking bills when you when when you when you're struggling and shit real, and your mom need rent. Yeah. Your cousin need rent, and she's a stripper. <laughs> I mean, I never really see my mom struggle. Well, that's good. So. For 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 our community, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, other people can't speak for that. Yeah. So that's pretty dope. But listen, what we do here, we're gonna get into a video, we're gonna watch something pretty dope. Um, 
I would like to see your opinion. I, I got some okay. good videos set up. Um, I say, Rami, go ahead and roll the first video. Um, like I said, guys, like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. We here. We not going nowhere. The website up, cashmoneydreams.com. And listen, all the clips, all the episodes, we just got done doing. I mean, my boy, the football player, we just got done doing. Um, Zach Moore. Yeah. Super Bowl winner. So. What, what we got on a mission today, man? Yeah, let's get into the let's get into it. Uh, we got a video coming up. Just waiting for the screen to load. It okay. Should be up in a minute. Don't be on this show. Emotional, damn it! I'm just saying, don't what? don't be too emotional. <laughs> I, was, I want you to get into it because okay. you're young. How old are you again? I'm 19. 19. I didn't say it earlier, so 19. I'll be 20 in two months. In two months, yeah. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Honestly. Are you are you are you single? Yes. Are you single to mingle? Yeah. Are you looking? Uh, Do you want a relationship or you want to stay single? It's in between. Because, okay. like, I have, like, a big heart. And I do always find myself... Always giving? Yeah. Doing too much? Oh, <laughs> uh, you like them Tyrones, huh? No. Them Pookies, them Ray Rays, huh? Nah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> them niggas be like this, man. I'm telling you. But what you, you mean, like, Tyrones and stuff? I mean... You like guys like this? I do. <laughs> oh, but wow. like, listen, it really don't and, and, matter and, and about women the wonder why. Women, but listen, it don't matter about the looks for me. It's about personality. No, I mean, real, I'm so. not talking about looks. I'm talking <laughs> about a guy that sits there and cry and oh, pander. No. You like that? No, I thought you were talking about like you. No, 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 no. Like, I'm talking example. about guys you talking to. <laughs> if a guy comes in and start crying and doing all this crazy stuff, mm -hmm. is that the stuff you into? Or do you want a man? It depends. To be, you want a man to be a man. I mean, I want a man to be a man, but like, you want him to cry too. I mean, nah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm not even why. <laughs> oh my god! I was gonna say. I, I was gonna say, man. It's because I ha I dealt with. <laughs> I, it's because I dealt with. I know what you dealt like with. That. Where you come from? It, so it is what it is. In it's our like community. something I accepted. Yo, are we ready to go? We're ready when you are. All right. It's not that one. No, I know. All right, let's play it. To the women who think they out here finessing these men, I've never known a man who is smart enough to make a whole bunch of money, but too dumb to know when a woman is using him for money. A man knows when he's being used, and he's okay with being used. Why? Because he's using you too. He's getting exactly what he wants, baby, your body. And your body is way more valuable than his paper, but you're the one treating it like it's a fair trade. And then you'll call him a trick, but who's the trick? When he gets to go out tomorrow and get some new money while you still stuck with that same old ran through free game. All right, so basically this video is about a, a woman just saying that uh, women that use men or think they're using men are also being used. It's, it's, it seems like she's saying it's a fair exchange. What do you think? I'm going to let you speak on this first. How do you feel about that? Well, actually, is it really fair, though? Because is, is one party giving more than the other? Is one party losing more than the other? Or is it I, really I mean, fair? In, in today's economy, women feel like they give more, but it's truly men giving more. But like I said, I'm going to let her speak. But <laughs> she's basically speaking for y'all women. She's telling you women, hey, you thinking mm -hmm. you're winning, but he's really winning. Okay. So she's uh, basically telling them, can you, can you explain it one more time for her, Remy? Yeah, so the woman is saying, look, uh, if if you females think that you're using men for their money or resources, whatever it may be, um, you're also getting used by him for your body. But what I think what she's trying to imply is that you adding to your body count is a more of a long term L than the man just maybe losing a few grand on you for right now. I think that's what she's trying to say. Throwing away the money. What do you think? Um, well, I can only speak for myself. Honestly, I can't speak for other people or other women. Okay. But, um, there has been times where I've been used for my body for exchange of money and it don't feel good. Right. Um, because he could leave you any day. Right. And 
how do I say this? Like, for me, I'm very vulnerable when it comes to, like, sleeping with guys. So if I decide, if I do, like, decide to, like, okay, I'm going to give you my body. But don't you get my nails done or something? And then they don't do it. Then it's like, well, damn, I give you my body. Da-da-da. I mean, that that denied. But I don't feel like it's like, oh, he's a woman is using a guy, if that makes sense. Like, I, I think um, you got to understand this. Okay. I'm a little older than you. Yeah. So take this as how you want to take it. But I'm going to mm-hmm. throw some knowledge at you. Right. So if you're giving your body up easily to mm-hmm. any man. I mean, it, it depends. You can, mm-hmm. depending on the value of the man. If this is a guy who has high tier, he's doing things in life. He's, uh, he's got a job. He's he's positioning himself. He has ambition. He has goals. He has dreams set. I mean, he's driving something nice. I mean, he's paying his bills. It's, he's not driving a bucket or a dented car. Where your insurance, buddy? Like y'all motherfuckers out here driving mother cars got dents in it. This Bruh. dude, ain't, he ain't driving something with a donut. I mean, he obviously take care of himself, right? His mm-hmm. nails, he grooms himself, he he works out. He's a he's a man. But the problem is when a woman does something like that, she's mm-hmm. expecting something back. And it doesn't work that way because he's broke. Right. Those guys are simps. They are, they're they're telling you something you want to hear, you thinking it's gonna be exchanged. Cause like you said, you're more you're more kind to the heart. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you're young and a lot of women haven't told the young girls this is this. You women must learn how to fight your battles when it comes to men, and you need to look out for the best guy. Because if you're 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, just running through men like men run through women, Mm -hmm. by the time you're 25, 26, the odds of you finding a relationship is so low that this is why from the Midwest or our communities all the way to L.A. to Atlanta, most of black communities are devastated where the mom's 32, 33, were raising children by herself. And that's because she chose the wrong guy. She didn't vet the guy right. So I, I would just say, you're young. You got time. The mm-hmm. women who 27, 28, they can't go back. And mm-hmm. that's time they can't borrow, time they can pay back. I don't care if they got money like Cardi B. You just can't go back. If you fuck, if you fuck 200 bodies and you're 28 years old, you could be a <laughs> multi-millionaire. Multi. It, it, you, that damage of how many men you shot your opportunity from. You could have been dating, uh, uh, what's his name? Ty Perry, mm-hmm. right? You think he dating a woman with 200 bodies? Imagine you, this, I'm just saying, 25, 26, Ty Perry, a multi-billionaire interested in you, but then he finds out that she was selling her butthole on OnlyFans for four ninety nine. What's going to happen is he's he more likely is not going to fuck with her. So for the women, she's just basically telling women, mm-hmm. hey, your value's more here than a nigga tricking off his money because money comes and goes. But your your temple, your treasure, can you can't ever get that back. No, and I agree. I agree with, I don't really know about like the whole body part. I don't really get, I don't try to get into that. Nobody does. <laughs> but the, the problem is this. The reason why they don't do it is because you're young. You mm-hmm. still can be saved. These women who 36, they can't fix it. Mm-hmm. They can't, they can't fix it. So what they're doing is they trying to listen. You're 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 19. When mm-hmm. is your birthday? October second. Oh wow. Okay. It's coming up, almost y'all. a scorpion, but she's not. She's I'm almost a Libra. crazy. I'm I know nowhere you near are. close to scorpion. Oh wow, <laughs> crazy motherfucker. Okay, no, listen. <laughs> listen. Listen very quickly. The reason why 38, 36 year old women are not telling you young girls this is because they're competing with you. These 38 year old, 40 year old women are dating. Men in your age group taking your opportunities, taking um, your opportunity. They're uh, in the clubs. And Ali Chapa is dating. What's her name? I don't. I, know. I don't listen. What's but her? Name? What is? That's it? off topic. No, no, no. Say it. <laughs> I don't know who is it. And Ali Chapa, he's like 20, 21. Okay, we will bring up the picture. And who yeah. is he dating? I don't. Remember. I don't know her name. Well, but she's old. Is the, is the thing? Yeah, she's, older? she's like 25, 26. I mean, that's not oh, bad. That's not too I know. Bad. I know. That's good. We're talking but about as like, a night no, 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 no. late thirties, no, no, no. early forties. <laughs> no, no. We're talking about 38, 35, 40. Really? Dating young 25, 26-year-olds. Okay. Why do you think they dating those guys? He ain't the dick. I don't know. It's because the older ones don't want nothing to do with them. Men men in their 45s, 50s, 60s. I mean, D- Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart, they're not looking for 
young, I mean, old 45 year old women, if they, but these men are taken, but if mm -hmm. they was on the market, they're going to be dating women 25, 26. And the reason why is because those women are more, tend to be less bodies, less trauma, less issues. The problem is, is at 19, when you go into the club, if you go to the club one day, 21, you probably already partying because from your Instagram, you party a lot. So <laughs> what, I, what I'm saying is this, um, when you start going into the nightlife, right, you're going to compete with women twice your age. And that's not fair. Oh, because yeah, I already know. So is, do you think that's cool? <laughs> I mean, if it's like money, it's going to be that. But, but, but your chance of getting men, that husband. But listen, like, they taking your husbands. I'm not, not, listen, I don't even think you should date a man your age. 19 year old boy can't do shit for you. 21 year old boy can't do shit for you. Unless he's some type of hustler, play an athlete, or he's some entertainer. He can't. He ain't going to compete with me. <laughs> he can have a record deal. He ain't competing with me. I mean, unless he Uzi. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, if you got Uzi <laughs> money, I don't think anybody really competing with Uzi. But these 25 niggas, I'm taking your chick. Pull up in a Bentley. Pull up in a Mozzie. Pull up in a Porsche. Pull up in a Lambo. Emotional, damn it. Pull up in my, my, my favorite car. I, I, I mean, the McLaren. Pull up in a McLaren. That's, that's the... So when a guy does that, it, it, it kills that man's opportunity at 24, 25. He's still trying to fight himself. So well, all I'm saying to you is it's very dangerous when women date younger men because they only there for the money. Okay. Well, I really don't have an opinion on this topic because like... <laughs> You're young. I don't sleep with No, no, I get what you're saying. The point of what so, the woman was saying in the video is, oh, she's trying to say a woman's value is dependent on that. Well, yeah, of course. So the more, the more men she thinks she's using that are using her for the thing that men want, she's getting depreciated. Her, she's depreciating every single time where the man is really not depreciating. He can just go get new he money He's just getting every more day. money every day. He just keeps getting new money. But, he's not but the, the, what I'm saying is the older women ain't telling the young girls this. They're not giving them game. These girls are these women. It's like a used car versus a new one. It's like these old women are basically and these women were on the wild not giving you the game saying don't do that. Protect yourself. A lot of women getting killed right now. You come on. We, come on. You from the Midwest. A lot of women getting touched. Shouldn't be touched. Mothers and sisters are being killed. You know what I mean? So it's, it's fucked up out there. For me, I know personally in Chicago, like Miami, a lot of people getting fucked up. So all I'm saying is um, women just got to think different. When you older, help these young girls out and support each other. Don't let I me, mean, do you support your friends that's girls? Thanks. You support your people? I do. Like, I know y'all because you're a hair girl, right? Yeah. So that means you got other people in the same business. You got to... Eh. What what a business your friends do? Um, so my friend Sonny. <laughs> Shout out. Busy Sonny. Oh. Uh she a rapper. Nice. <laughs> I'm just playing, go ahead. <laughs> don't play with don't play with her. I'm but not she, play with her. She a rapper. Is she? Yeah, she, she raps dope? really good. Yeah. We'll put her in the studio. Got to. Yeah, I mean, I got a hair though. I this is what we do. Okay. Shout out to Noble Fam Entertainment, man. We this is what we do. I mean, so she she dope. I She's, definitely want to hear it. Yeah, so you got you something got I can to. hear later? Of course. Okay, cool. Entertainment. Right. Listen, let's get into the next topic, bro. Moving on. All these female rappers coming out, man. Gangster. How old is she? 18. 18. Mm-hmm. This should right. be a good one. Here we go with the next video. Why are you chasing women? Why are you chasing sex? We didn't have all our lives. We've been fucking for our whole life, basically, since we was teenagers. And pussy still excites you. You know what excites me? Money. Living. Doing what I want to do when I wake up. Not having to clock in. That's what excites me. It's not more money, more problems. It's more women, more problems. Okay, so that was a short one. Basically, um, in her age group, she's 
probably going to have a different point of view, or at least men in her age group are going to have a completely po- different point of view because uh, he's older. He's probably looks like he's in his 40s, maybe even 50. So what he's saying I, is... I think he's in his late 30s or early 40s. What, but, he, what he's saying is focus on your money yeah, and everything else you could do later. I, I, the reason why I picked this for you is basically because this is for the men out there, right? But in your, in, in your life right now, because you're young, Mm-hmm. Do you see guys just chasing the pussy? They just yeah. trying to fuck, 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 <laughs> right? Yes, all the time. Yeah. It's annoying. <laughs> and then what they bring into the table? Not shit. Right, because they asked the woman to bring shit to the table. But what are these young guys doing for you? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but can I can I say this? What um, can you say? Speak up. Go I ahead. completely agree with him. Uh, there's been times where I have hung out with guys my age and will get mad because I don't want to fuck them and like do whatever they want me to do I mean, and stuff like that versus like being with somebody who's like a little bit older than me right. they don't try that with me when I say like oh no I'm not with that they'll be like okay but there has been it, I don't really know I'm if fucking, it's about the fuck all this shit <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know that comes I was gonna say listen <laughs> Man with value are fucking. Shout out to the message I just got. Uh, like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. We here, man. We ain't going nowhere. It's Cash Money Dream Podcast. Welcome. Welcome to the building. So what you're saying is the older men don't want to or they're just not as pushy, but they still want to? They're just not as pushy, but I never seen a, like, a man older, way older than me get mad because I don't want to fuck. Well, of course. I mean, it depends on the guy, but some old men will yeah. get mad. It depends if they simps or not. Well, I but. never ran into <laughs> I, I mean, that's cool. It's just the ones that be my age. Maybe, like, maybe, maybe the guys you, the older guys you talk to are not simp. These guys got money in their position in life, so uh, they don't have to work. I mean, g- guys, young men are like puppies. They're humping everything they see. I mean, it's so crazy to, to me, but they have to. <laughs> they have to. They gotta. They gotta build value. But this, like he said, stop worrying about pussy, man. Take care of yourself because mm-hmm. the greatest thing you could do at 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 for a man is chase the money. Because when you get the money and you get the lifestyle, the girls are going to come. Trust me, it's going to be a lot of them. And they come in a truckload. But when you're broke and you're going female to female chasing pussy that's not even worth it, it, it doesn't work. You're not competing with me, bro. You're 25. You're not competing with me. Fuck out of here. <laughs> 22 years old, I'll take your bitch. You're not competing with me. <laughs> Is this a fact? That's why the older guys are chill. We ain't tripping. Have fun. Do what you want. I got. I mean, I, it's up. To, men who have options have a pleasure that most people don't ever get to see, and it's only seven to ten percent of men that actually get to enjoy it. You know what I'm saying, unless you a lot of you got a lot of money and you're a simp, and because there's some people out there who got money and they simp's, and they 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 enjoy dating women with a hundred bodies, and and they like getting married okay, to women. But I have a question though. So he said chasing women, and I'm thinking like, okay, chasing women like. You know, some guys be like, oh, taking a girl out to eat or like all that. And then he mentioned like sex. So like maybe is there like a different definition with guys when it comes to chasing a woman? I think a man or... should not. I think, see, for me, I'm different. Men men in my age group, if they if they have position of power, they don't chase the woman. The woman chase us. And, and a man's going to value you more when you give him, if you show value. How a woman show value is chasing a man. Women, the, the, the problem with a lot of women is these older women are not teaching the young girls this. If you go chase Drake, just putting a man out there, and you chase him for 10 years and he likes you, eventually he's going to make you his prize because he's going to look at all the women he fuck with. They only was there for one thing. So men who chase women, they always lose. They do. You might, you might get the girl. You might, you might get the <laughs> pussy. But is it going to last 20 years? Go look at all the women who chase a pussy. It didn't even last a decade. It's a lot of men out here crying right now because their wives took half their money and they invested into the wrong woman, just like a woman invested into the wrong guy. It's, it works half and half. But he, he's he's telling me, don't listen, going out to dinner, that's not chasing. That's taking a girl you like out. If okay. you like her. So maybe my chasing is different because I have guys like, bug me and I wouldn't like reply back. Those simps. <laughs> you know what a simp is? Nah, not really. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's somebody who's basically going to be in your DMs mm-hmm. begging for your your attention. 
So, like, if a guy chase a woman, they're wasting their time, or is the woman wasting her time? A, a, a woman's wasting her time because real men don't do so that. So, women should chase men. And uh, she wouldn't uh, you waste chase, time. No, 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 no. Let's, let's get this right because you're young. <laughs> I'm going to say this for all women to understand very quickly. Do not chase every man because you'll be a whore or three or four. Chase men who have value that will help you get into a position of power. And you must stay in that position with them. I mean, we don't got to talk politics, but politicians really don't divorce. You know why? Because it's about the family. The woman gets involved with him so she can have a seat at a table that's powerful. Okay. Okay, so I see where you're coming from from the point. Only chase a guy that's going to, that has status to a point that you should be a good gold digger, but a loyal gold digger, right? I don't, I don't tell women to dig gold and take everything. No. Show the man that you there, just like LeBron James' wife did, and you get everything. You become the prize eventually. Okay, but what if the guy's not loyal? I mean, no man is loyal. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I, 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 I hate to hate, I hate to hurt your feeling. Listen, the men who are loyal and are there loyal men out here? Yes, they are. But mm -hmm. those guys are not the guys you truly interested in. You would date that guy because mm -hmm. you like him. He he's attractive for a moment, but if he's not pushing you to the edge, making you want to be better, building better living a high value lifestyle, then you're not really going to stay with him. You won't, you women won't, women want to see the, women want to see the world. They want to do things they never done. That's mm -hmm. what makes women, they, most women don't know what they want, but most women want to enjoy a lifestyle they never had, especially better than what their parents have. Mm -hmm. To, to get a guy who can give that to you, you think he's going to be loyal? It's not going to happen. Men, men only are, listen, listen, you can go look at any man who have any power, Michael Jordan, my, my, Michael Jackson <laughs> and he didn't really, really like women you can you go say to, he didn't really like women I mean when I say like women he wasn't really going around like uh. Prince effing a lot of women <laughs> he wasn't but he couldn't stay faithful you have to understand when a man is a high tier man and he has options he's gonna cheat but the women who stay with that guy mm -hmm. who showed they legion they showed that I'm with you with whatever He's not going to constantly keep disrespecting you. He's going to realize, yo, this woman's loyal. I don't mm -hmm. need these other women. Women eventually fade, but it's the women who stay and help a man elevate. You know what I mean? Be I mean, Jay cheated. Beyonce leave him? Yeah. I mean, no, she ain't leave him, but... But if, if, if this is a perfect example, if you're worth $50 million and, I'm a, and, and a guy you're dealing with, I was going to say myself, but I'm going to take myself out the equation. If you're worth $50 million and a guy is only worth Let's say $5 million. He's mm -hmm. still rich. You going to let him disrespect you like that publicly? Fuck so. Okay, so that's the difference. <laughs> but if you're worth $5 million, if you're worth $5 million and he's worth $50 million, a woman's going to stay there because mm -hmm. she's going to want to be at that power role. That's why in relationships, people stay. It Does it work all the time? No. But if a woman shows loyalty to the family and commitment, the man eventually going to make you the prize. So... I would just say all men cheat depending on what guy you're dealing with. But it, you don't want the guy who who's Pookie and Ray Ray. You don't want the guy who's making 45000 a year and barely can wipe his ass, right? Mm -hmm. You want a guy with a car, right? You got to yeah, at least have a obviously. car. But, like, I feel like for me, I value loyalty. So it's just like. Mm. But men show loyalty differently. Your job is to show loyalty. Your job, no. Like <laughs> your job is to show loyalty. Men show loyalty different. Your job is not to be a hoe. Your job is to keep your lace closed. Your job is to be ready for me every time I come home. I could be on tour. I could be doing things. And when I come home Tuesday, everything should be taken care of. The more you show me that loyalty, the more I give you everything you want. That's why Gucci man wife has everything. Y'all women don't understand. Gucci man wife have everything because she's still loyal when he wasn't. She didn't fuck him over. She didn't publicly embarrass him like women do. When a man, when a man cheat on a woman, she tried to destroy him and they shoot themselves in the foot. So our loyalty is how we show loyalty is we look out for you. We protect you. If somebody comes in here and try to kill you or rob you, I'll jump in the bullet for you. Mm. You're not going to jump in front of a bullet for me. Well, you never know that. But most women won't. Well, I... Obviously, most women like going around the cheating. Point, my loyalty is also <laughs> shown. If you have my children, my children protected. You can live in your nurture mm -hmm. energy. Women, the greatest women who sit on any seat, they are nurturers, right? So that's how we show loyalty. Now, I'm not speaking for all men. Men will be in my, my comments saying, "Well, I'm not cheating on my wife." Okay, cool. 
Mm-hmm. But at the same time, the exception doesn't make the rule. So if, if loyalty is everything for you, I would tell you at 19, look at a man who's loyal to his money, loyal to his family, and loyal to his brand and his image. Mm-hmm. Right? That's how you tell a man true loyalty. And eventually, all the things he does will disappear because the loyal you are, the more he's going to make you the prize. Do that make sense? Yeah. Do you disagree or are you like, I don't know? Well, I don't know. Because you, you stuck on his loyalty. You you stuck on men shouldn't cheat. <laughs> right? Just say it. Say it out there for the girl. Men should not cheat. Say it. Men should not cheat. Why? I, I agree because it's like. So if you had if you had Wiz Khalifa, you think he's going to be loyal to you? If you had Nipsey Hussle, you think he's going to be loyal to you? If you had, I'm just saying, if you had Uzi, would he be loyal to you? Probably not. Who's your favorite rapper? My favorite rapper? Male. Um, <laughs> male y'all got all these rapper? female rappers right now. But he not my celebrity crush. I'm not saying, but who's your rapper you go to? Queen One Savage, who is it? Chippy Red. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love Chippy Red. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. I'm not dissing that guy. Dirk. Little Dirk. All right, we're going to go Little Dirk. Um, with, with, so the question should be If Little Dirk You were with Little Dirk He cheated on you Would you give him a pass Versus uh, just some random dude Down the street from here Uh, Not necessarily a pass But I would definitely Get back with him Oh my god You're not leaving Stop playing you And get back <laughs> with him You're not going nowhere But okay. if it was a random other You would probably leave him Or you would still stay Even if it was not uh, Anybody in that if status he's a, Hold on Let's make this very clear For women So they can hear this If he's a bum Mm-hmm. He's living with his mom. Say he has his apartment and he's making 50K a year and he cheats on you, publicly embarrass you. But Lil Dirk, he does it and he's worth, you know, 30 million, 50 million. Who you, are you really going to leave Lil Dirk? No. But if you're going to leave, <laughs> be honest, you're going to leave the other guy. Yeah. Why? Because like. He can't do I much I feel like, you. yeah. But it's like, I would still leave. Honestly, let me tell you something. I feel like I would still leave, but I wouldn't like completely like Not cut him cow. off. I'm gonna tell you I something. I wouldn't completely cut him off. No, no, let me t- I- l- listen, <laughs> listen. Bruh. Y'all girls Not can play. Y'all, y'all can play this game all you want. You're never leaving. And if you do leave, bye. <laughs> but guys always come back to women when they fuck up. Only simps do this. You're speaking <laughs> of men that have no value. Beta man. Maybe. If, if I maybe. got fifty million dollars and you walk out on me, peace out. You see Tom Brady, you young. Tom Brady wife left. She was like, you know what? I don't get my way. I'm not getting this. I'm not doing that. I'm leaving. Guess what? Tom Brady got a younger girl, less drama, much tighter, and about to start a new family with a three, four hundred million dollar deal with ESPN. So she took a L. Yeah, he's doing good too. Yep. I mean, and, he may and, not and be shout, as happy. Hey, no, as no, he no, looks, no. Hold on. Let's we gotta get on. He's Ye doing better than she is. Shout out to Ye, to the whole Ye family. <laughs> Congratulations for coming back a billionaire and shitting on everybody. I, I appreciate you, yeah. You 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 changed the world, man. You are you are definitely the goat, and you are legendary, bro. But what I'm saying to you, very simple, is um, you got to understand that <laughs> men cheating, women cheating is totally different, and you are right. I feel like it's different because guys can't take the same heat as women do. Why? Why? Because listen, your body's your temple. Okay. Yeah. Your body's your temple. So if you if you're giving your temple away to anybody and I, I fuck with you, I, I would never look at you the same. Our dick is worthless. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Man, dicks are worthless. What values a man is his status, his position in life. What he does as a man. It's not who we fucking. It comes down to our children eventually, but it's not who we fucking. Your temple means everything. The more uh clean, the more virtual you are the more you become higher in value. It's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. Every woman should be trying to fuck a high-tier man. Period. Why? Why you should not? But hopefully, you find the right high-tier guy who's willing to build something with you. All these other 70% of simps, those guys are the ones that's all in your DM, calling you, blowing you up, begging you to come out in this and that. Like, it's just, they don't have nobody else, so they have time to keep playing with you. They got time to blow you up. A man with value, he don't have time to be hitting up females. I go on my phone, I don't even respond to text messages. By the time I look at it, within three days, I got 50 text messages. I'm in Miami. We doing events. Make sure y'all follow the website too. The website's up. The cashmoneydreams.com website's up. But I don't have time. To, I'm juggling shit. 
Mm. You know what I mean? So it's just that simple. But hey, let's get this last video. Because we got, we got 13 minutes, 14 minutes left. Thank you for coming out, though. Yeah, no problem. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm definitely going to get on to your city, though. We're going to get on to that conversation. <laughs> when you going back home? Um, Probably not time. No time soon, to be honest. Oh, no time soon. So no you out here soon. turning up. Yeah. Okay? Wilding. She's like, get my nails done, nigga. <laughs> Denied. She's like, get my toes done, nigga. Denied. It's okay. I could pay for my own. I know. You getting money. I already know you getting money. <laughs> And you young too I appreciate you, that Stick you. to your brag You know what I mean You got any friends You want to shout out though Shout out my sister Busy Sonny on Instagram She a rapper She a period. rapper What's her Instagram again Busy Sonny B-I-Z-Z-I Everybody I check her out I'm, I'm gonna listen to her After this Once we done off this show yeah. I'll find something We're gonna play We're gonna go up in there yeah. And play I wanna see what it sound like Do you got the next video Coming up yeah. It's going up you you about to see it? All right, cool. Let's hear this. Oh, you seen this one? Yeah. Good. Not for me, great, because I love you. I I never wanted to not be with you. I never wanted to be without you. I want to do life with you. But in the process of all this happening, you a liar. You got you a bitch, and I had to hear from this bitch what y'all relationship was about. No, nah, we not no more. <laughs> I want to see other people. You act like you're the only fucker in this relationship that other people want to no we we no let's let's be real let's so what we gonna do is we gonna stay together we gonna have a beautiful life together for the rest of our lives we gonna continue getting money together we gonna continue raising this little girl together we gonna have a fabulous home we're gonna love and take care of each other but i'm gonna yeah. other people and Je i hope you do too Ooh. jesus christ and we will never ever talk about it don't bring me no babies don't bring me no diseases yo cut this shit off but we gonna Hell do what we want to do outside that's this house that's because that's to this point it's worse. <laughs> what is that? All right. So basically, this woman is uh, laying a new set of rules, like the caption says. Um, since she got cheated on, let's just go all out and both just sleep around with anybody we want, but keep everything else pushing as it is. Well, how do y'all feel about that? You think that's going to work long term, or or is that a bad idea? Um, I personally think she's just probably talking out of her, honestly. Yeah, but is it a, is it a good idea for a woman to do that? Would you do something like, like that? Like, if she really did do it, she's not just going Personally, me, no. I'll just leave. Like, literally. Like, you I don't know. So I don't, don't have whole patience. Family. You got two kids with this guy. He got a good job. He's cheating. <laughs> and you just going to walk out. Think about that. Because I mean, women do it every day. Walking out? They, well, fuck yeah. 70% of women walk out. I mean, the divorce rate high. I mean, you don't even have to be married. Women quit. They quit in everything. They quit. <laughs> you just mentioned it earlier in the last video. Tom Brady's wife walked they out. They quit. You're walking out on him. She'll walk on her knee. Okay, buddy. but how do you feel about it? Because I feel like she, okay, so like if your wife was, you know, you got caught cheating, she's like, oh, I'm going to go cheat around. I'm going to cheat. So would you move forward into the relationship? Uh, my, all the women who deal with me will never cheat on me, but I'm a cheater. And my women and anybody who deals with me, they understand why I do what I do because I'm a high value man. Do I cheat by lying? Women, I know, I don't, listen, I don't think a man should be fucking around and having multiple partners. It's dangerous. You're bringing other things to another woman. You got to be protected. Yeah. But I, the women, if you're dealing with women that know each other and they only fuck with you, it can work. It's just a comfortability of, of, of communicating and being honest to a woman. Men lie about this. This is why they cheat. Because they don't want to lose you. Because they have nobody else. Those are simps. They have no options. Men with options do not have to worry Beta about this bear. shit. And what I, what I would say is like, she's crazy. She's delusional and lost her goddamn mind. I don't know if she got an 8-inch <laughs> dick or a 12-inch dick. Because that she's talking like a man. She's basically telling him the comfortability of the family is good. But you out here cheating, I'm going to go out and have fun too. Bruh. Not realizing she's stripping her treasure away. The greatest, let me tell you something. You're 19, mm -hmm. you'll be 20 soon. The greatest flex for a woman, do you know what it is? What? Family. When you go outside and you show your children they healthy, they having fun, and you're a nurturer, women are jealous. What about the women that don't want family? That's cool. They could be, uh, I always say this, and I'm going to say this nicely. Listen, 24-7, there's a pet -a Pet stores will be open. So the women who don't want to have children, they're going to buy pets. They got cats and dogs and birds. Have fun. 
But the most majority of women want to have a man. They want to have protection. They want a husband. They want to go home to a dick and lay in bed and watch movies and, and have a protection of a man. They want that. So the women who are out here saying they don't want that, they pushing a the wrong message because they say by 2030, 45 to 50% of women are going to be lonely. Okay. So would you stay with her? No. It's, it, I, I, the second she say that to me is, is a wrap. I'm moving out. <laughs> I, will, I will position myself so my kids can uh, get what they need. I will make mm-hmm. sure she's set up and she can go fuck who she want. But she will never get me again because it... I, I tell men all the... I will never be in that position. Any woman I deal with, I vet. I don't have these issues. So I just couldn't For deal me, with For me, I feel like if a female's going to cheat, just don't say anything. They go, but, but that's just how I, that's just how I well, feel. Well, you're like, young. But, if but a listen, female you don't have cheat, to say anything because you're young, right? But Until it's like over, over. Cheating, over. cheating does nothing for a woman. It only destroys her in the long run because that karma comes back to you when you buy yourself. When you have a high body count, your body count so high that no other man wants you but the weaker sex. What if she's just cheating like with one guy? Doesn't matter. It's not. It's unacceptable. <laughs> it's what not, if? Uh, what if like what most women say is just lie about the body count number? They all lie. If you have fifty oh men, just say you're all women with three. lie. But listen, a value. How is a man going to know? Men with value know. You can't play a guy who made a hundred million dollars. Get the fuck out of here. You never. Y'all women have never made five hundred thousand dollars, let alone fifty grand by yourself. You're gonna play a guy that's worth fifty million, twenty million, one million. No, men with money. The guys that's eight percent, they know what kind of woman they're getting. The guys who don't care, with the girls who getting engaged with girls with seventy five body counts, those guys are simp's. They don't care. They more they're they're more the female in the relationship. So, do you think like a guy could have like? So you're saying like guys' body count don't matter either? Because me, I'm spiritual too, so I feel like you have energy to be you're a woman. on top you have of to energies. Be spiritual, though. You have to be. <laughs> Look at you. You got to be spiritual. Come on, man. A man that don't have to be. That's your job to be spiritual. But your, like. Your job is when I go out and go to war, you pray for me. I come back with wounds and you clean it. But I don't know. Maybe your spiritual is like different from my spiritual. Everybody. Because wanna, I believe in soul ties and I believe in energy. So I believe like, in energy, too. I believe in for I believe in more energy than you think. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> but you need to understand that the man with value, the reason why he can even give off electricity and energy is mm-hmm. because of what he's doing. Mm-hmm. If a guy acts as a woman, he's going to be a pussy and you're not going to want to stay with him. You might fuck him. You might stay with him for two years, three years, but you're going to leave him. This is why women have six, seven boyfriends within a year. Mm-hmm. I mean, how many boyfriends have you had in one year? How many boyfriends have you uh, had in two years? Not even that much. I, well, you're young, but most <laughs> girls at 25, they already had 20 boyfriends. Hello, your computer has virus. 30 boyfriends and you ain't even 30 yet. That means a boyfriend every year. When are you going to stop? It's dangerous out here for women. They already sweating. Oh my gosh! So, Hello, you know, to the streets. Shout out, future. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but what I'm saying to you is, it, it's different for a man to a woman. Women keep okay. fighting this, and they're not gonna win because at the end of the day, when you're 30 and you 40 and you by yourself and you wish you dated the guy you could have had at 25, 27, who mm-hmm. you knew was gonna be perfect for you, but you left him because he cheated or, or he was broke. And you really liked him, but you knew he had uh, motivation, energy. He he was that guy. And then he become a multimillionaire by he's 40. And you looking at yourself. But there is women who, like, do come up with their man, though, like, when they're oh, broke. 100%. But those are, that's why I'm telling you. That's Thank you for saying that. That's what we're telling women. Stay with your guy. And, and, and if, he, if he has motivation, elevation. Gucci Man is a perfect example. He was already rich and famous. He didn't need the wife he had. He, oh, yeah, he she she built that, though. She <laughs> built that with him. You understand? Look yeah. at her lifestyle. This girl is on jets, on yachts. They dress the same. They got brand deals the same. They're rich. She's walking around with a $3 million wedding ring. Y'all women want this lifestyle, but you got to work for it. You got to go in there and prove that you're willing to let the man win, no matter if he breaks your heart or not. If you show a man that you're willing to let him win, even if he hurts you. Now, listen. I'm not telling women to deal with men who abuse you, who put their hands on you, who 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 sexually assault you. I'm not telling women to deal with those type of guys. But if he checks everything off the list outside of those things, what the fuck are we doing? Be happy and loyal. Yo, 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 temple is the greatest treasure you can have, right? So only high value men should be able to touch you. That's it. These guys have to work for it. These guys in your DM that's 22, 23, they better be doing a lot. The value guys don't shouldn't have to listen. 
if he has high value and he going to fuck with you, he's going to fuck with you. And that's how you know you elevate. I mean, because if Drake was like, hey, I want to fuck with you, you got to prove it. And if it works out, then Drake is Drake. Drake will be like, oh, listen, or the guy you said, what's his name? The the guy with uh, what's his name? But he not my celebrity red, crush. Red, red, red. He not my celebrity red. crush. Trippy red. He is not my celebrity crush. Shut the hell to up, Child, <laughs> You you a suck trippy red dick. Stop lying. I wouldn't though. Stop the cow. You wouldn't. Oh, uh, no, gotcha, bitch. You sure? Yeah, I'm okay, sure. I'm, I'm, I'm just a fan sure. of him. Honestly, this like, a fan? I would really cry if I seen him. In okay, life. well, we gotta make that happen. Gotcha, Stop playing. <laughs> We're gonna make that happen. I mean, there's always events coming up. You never know. I'm down to always pop out to events. I've been events you, all have, the time. Have you been on the website yet? Um, no. Okay. Well, it's not even a week old. So that's <laughs> I, mean, I mean, yeah, it just came out. So the blog okay. shows all the events that's coming up. So make sure, guys, when Let's you go see. on our cashmoneydreams.com website, you go there, you get with Cash Talks, you hit all the p- different pages. And go get some tickets, man. It's all over. Vegas. Okay, uh, but I do have a question. Okay. Go ahead. So remember how I was telling you, like, the guys, uh, well, I didn't even tell you, but how I said, like, oh, um, when a guy don't, when a guy my age, like, when I have sex and I turn it down, they get mad. Yeah. So, like, he tried to tell me, um, he was like, oh, because I told him, like, I was in my period, and that's why Y'all I didn't want to. Y'all always say that, though. Women always it's say that. It's not a lie. <laughs> All you women Listen, be lying. He was okay. He was he was supposed to take me bowling, but he didn't. Right. And we went he just to just fuck. But it's like, why didn't you take me out? Was but you he was like, though? yeah. Okay, I'm just. But a lot of women. I mean, they be. Stop the cap. They be capping. They, we That's, he women. thought. He thought. Well, him and his friend thought because it was me and my sister. Why is it his friend? I was with a friend and my sister was okay, with him. So, y'all so they're but, gonna I double, was, double but I was date. arguing with him because he's like ch- trying to tell me what I should do as a woman. How old is he? That I think he's 22. Leave him alone. Stop what, wait, what did he say? What did he say? I want to know what Sims say nowadays. What did he say that you need to be doing he as a woman? He said I shouldn't be outside if I'm on my period because it's not ladylike. <laughs> <laughs> So you're only allowed outside if you get if you can fuck. Otherwise, stay your ass inside. Is that what, what you're trying to say? What the fuck? Did he say that for real? <laughs> yes, he uh. did. And I was heated as fuck and I was arguing with him because I have to go to school. I have to go to work and do Shout all types of shit. Shout out to that shit. 22-year-old. Get what the fuck? T- <laughs> What's up, bitch? Yo, that's crazy. I would tell you, yo, fuck him. <laughs> I would say this, though. You shouldn't be outside anyway because it's dangerous out there and the world's changing. But this show is about to end. Okay. We gonna we gotta do this again. We only I'm get down. we only get forty five. You down? Yeah, and, and I can bring my sister. Yeah, bring your sister. Honestly. I got I gotta see what she look like. Is that cool? Yeah, of I, course. I, I wanna see what y'all I mean, she's from Ohio too. No, nah, she's from Pittsburgh. She across the river. Oh. Okay, yeah, bring out. Yeah. Um real quick, before we get off this podcast, what's your Instagram again? My Instagram is Diaviana, D E A V I O N N A two A's. And and uh, also the hair company. My hair company is She Do Your Hair, not Do Your Hair. D I I D I O R. <laughs> she Do Your Hair. Like and subscribe. Follow us on every platform. Make sure you go to our website. The blogs up. The events up. Cashmoneydreams.com. Listen, Cash Talk is coming. It's gonna be all behind the scenes. Nobody else exclusive can get it. Thank you. Like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. It's your boy Cash. I'm out of here, baby. Thank you for watching the Cash Money Dreams podcast. Like and subscribe, follow us on every platform. Stay tuned. Every week we drop in a new episode. It's your boy Cash, man.